But again, let us also be reminded that our Lord comes to us every moment of every day. My dear brothers and sisters, mga hinigugma diha ni Kristo. Today we are on the first Sunday of Advent, and we take our reflections from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 21, verses 25 to 28, verses 34 to 36. It is said that every day is a fresh start, a new beginning. Today is such a day, the first Sunday of Advent, and we start a new year in our liturgical calendar, for it is the first of the four weeks of preparation for the coming of our Lord. Advent comes from the Latin word adventus, which means coming or arrival. In this Advent season, the Church invites us all to get ready to welcome Christ in His second coming and to welcome His coming to us at Christmas as we commemorate His birth. It is not uncommon to us that whenever we have visitors, especially prominent people, or those whom we consider as special to us are coming, we do some special preparations. Like for instance, when Cebu hosted the 51st International Eucharistic Congress in January of 2016, as early as 2013, we had already started our preparation. We had to see to it that hotels were reserved, vehicles were rented for transportation, we contacted several food caterers, meeting here and there, etc. We did our best because we wanted the IEC delegates from all over the world to feel that they are warmly welcomed and accommodated in Cebu. True enough, all our efforts paid off. Those who attended the week-long event expressed their profound gratitude for the wonderful reception accorded to them. My dear brothers and sisters, during this Advent season, once again, we are exhorted to prepare in a special way for the coming of our most prominent visitor like no other. We get ready for the coming of no other than our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel passage for today, Jesus tells us that there will be signs that precedes His coming. These signs seem alarming and terrifying, but our Lord wants us to stand erect and to lift up our heads, for our redemption is at hand. He wants us to be always on the watch and to pray unceasingly as we await for that day. Now let me ask you, what characterizes our waiting? Surely we do not wait idly nor passively. Christian waiting is one that is dynamic. Our spirits, our souls, our hearts, our whole being is engaging as we excitedly wait for His coming. It happens sometimes that our waiting is so far-sighted, meaning we just focus on the when 
or the time of the arrival. So much so that we lose sight of what is actually happening in the present moment. We want or rather we wait for what or who is to come in the future and that is very very good. But again, let us also be reminded that our Lord comes to us every moment of every day through our experiences, through the many wonderful gifts that He endlessly supplies us with, through the people who care for us, and especially through the sacred word in the scriptures and through the sacraments. I believe this makes our waiting more significant and more meaningful when we already experience God's love and abiding presence in our midst while we are still waiting. In this manner, waiting in itself is already a gift because in waiting, we develop the virtue of patience, of hope, and of ardent love for the one we are waiting for. Let us take St. Paul's wish as he expressed in his letter to the Thessalonians as his own wish for us today while we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus, that our love for each other and for all people may increase that we may grow in holiness and that we may live a life that is pleasing to the Lord. In other words, St. Paul exhorts us to do more and not just remain as complacent Christians. As our brothers in the Society of Jesus would say, let us do things in the spirit of Magis. Magis is another Latin word which means more or greater. It is associated with the Jesuit motto for the greater glory of God. In the season of Advent, while we joyfully hope for the coming of Jesus, may we continue the good things that we usually do, but let us do them in the spirit of magis, with more enthusiasm, with more kindness, with more love, and with a greater hope and trust in our loving God who never fails to bless us. As we continue to celebrate the 500 YOC with Mama Mary and St. Joseph by our side, may our Advent this year be celebrated with a greater awareness of our mission as a result of the recently held Archdiocesan Mission Congress. May we walk hand in hand together in synodality and serve our brothers and sisters with more zeal and resoluteness, knowing that we are doing all this not for ourselves, but for the greater glory of our Lord. A blessed Advent to one and all. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.